Forbes is not that hard to be a part of. Most people have no idea. And I'm giving you the interior game here of how to not only get accepted, you get to say, hey, Forbes quoted me today. Now, it's pretty hard to be a part of the Forbes 400, which I hope to see every single one of you there when I'm there. But in the meanwhile, we can still get our foot in the door with Forbes, right? And we can start actually building a pretty strong network inside with them by just doing a couple of things, right? Thing number one is join the Forbes Council of Advisors. Because what the Council of Advisors is, is it allows me to write articles on behalf of Forbes. I become an editor, a publisher inside of the Forbes Councils, which allows me to put Forbes on my website. It allows me to say that, I, hey, I work with Forbes. It allows me to say I'm a Forbes Council member. I can buy plaques from them that say I'm a part of Forbes. It allows me to get my foot in the door over there. I've been with them for nine years. What you do is you go over to the Forbes Council of Advisors and they're gonna give you a bunch of different ones like real estate, entrepreneur, coaches, education, there is a several of them. And, and what you're gonna have to do is figure out which ones best describes you. So I'm on the Forbes Coaches Council. So the next thing it's gonna do is it's gonna tell you, okay, now pick which one of these you are, select your expertise. Now, I could have picked the entrepreneur, I could have picked the small business, I could have picked real estate, but I picked the Coaches Council because that's what most describes me. Then, I'm gonna set up my social media to reflect that expertise. So I'm not signing up for shit yet, okay? So, okay, I'm a coach. What does my Instagram look like? If I go over to my Instagram, does it look like I'm a coach over there? Yeah, I coach people. There's Apex right there on the top. If I go over to my Facebook, does it look like I coach people? Yes, that looks like I coach people. Okay, cool. My social media, that all matches up. After you apply, they immediately ask you to pay the dues, okay? But not everybody's accepted, but if you follow what I just showed you and you're putting content out on social media, it's pretty easy to get in. What makes it hard to get in is when they can't find any information about you. They don't see that you have any social media presence. Your social media is all blank and you just said that you're a coach and you don't have anybody that's engaging with you. That looks off, right? They take your money up front. If you get turned down, guess what? They send you your money back, so don't even worry about it. Here's the best part though. Once they do that, then you get to create these articles. Now you can go in and you might say, well shit, man, I can't write for Forbes. I ain't got Forbes writing skills. Dog, you got ChatGPT, you can write a whole ass article for Forbes using ChatGPT. That's what you got me for. I give you the shortcuts. It's that easy to do. You have ChatGPT, write it. Then you just tweak it a little bit. And bam, you post that shit on Forbes. You wanna know what Forbes wants to know? Cause Forbes says what gets published and what doesn't. It's real simple. You just go to Forbes and in the section over there, it's talking about trending topics. You just pick some of those trending topics and have ChatGPT write an article about them and then slam them into Forbes. And now guess what? You have a robot writing a, a article that goes on a robotic site that's governed by algorithm that you didn't have shit to do with. The robots are working for you at this point. So you pay the dues, then you go in and you can create your own articles, okay? So literally you can write for Forbes. When I started, that's what I did. Chris Kelly, he's doing that really often right now. He's crushing it. But here's the best part that I think, and this is what I leverage and I'm gonna give you the game here. They have this section that comes out every month inside the Forbes Council. And this section is questions that you can answer. And so they're giving you topics and you go in and you give them a simple one to two line quote from yourself it's from you on that particular topic. So they might say, employee retention, give us a two sentence breakdown of what you do to retain employees during tough times. You might say core values and accountability. We retain employees because we are committed to making them better people overall. And so bam, then they like that answer. They write a whole article about how to retain employees. And then they say Ryan Stuman from Break Free Academy in Plano, Texas says that he believes that accountability and that thing that I just said. Now all of a sudden you're quoted in Forbes. And let me tell you what's more powerful than Hey, I wrote an article for Forbes. Cool, that's awesome. No, there's more power to you, that's dope as hell. But let me tell you something that's more, that's a lot cooler than that, is when Forbes is just seemingly to your friends. You know you answered the question behind the scenes, but to your friends, you get to say, hey, Forbes quoted me today. Does that not build your brand? Does that not build authority in front of your people? This is called a competitive edge at an awesome price. Most people have no idea. They're out there just hoping they get noticed and that Forbes will find them. And I'm giving you the interior game here of how to not only get accepted, how to get in there and how to leverage this thing. You get to say, hey, Forbes quoted me today.